What's going on guys? Random Kavik here. So today I've got some more Gotham City imposters for you guys. And right there, that little prize actually reminded me of something I wanted to tell about you guys. A quick tip. Always go for those random loot drops, man, because they always drop something. It's like a defensive bonus or an offensive bonus or a speed boost. No matter what, man, that's an advantage in a gunfight. And that means more kills. And uh, I see a lot of people neglecting them the entire match like I've got entire games where I've seen one single prize sitting there in one spot the whole game and it's always gonna help you no matter what and help your team and even if things aren't going your way that's gonna give you an advantage man so do it no matter what if you come across one in a safe area with no people shooting at your ass always go for them um, but I did want to talk about I'm actually starting to understand this game and what I mean by that is, at first I thought this game was going to play out like Team Fortress 2. I was like, okay, there's going to be a scout class, there's going to be a heavy class, there's going to be, you know, a sniper class, and as well as a medic. But no, they make it seem like that because the default classes they make are pretty much like that. It's like a copy of it, basically. But then once you actually unlock everything and you get to like level 10 or 11 or so where I'm at, you realize that every weapon and everything in the game is universal so it's not like you're restricted to just being like I'm gonna play the medic I'm gonna look like this it's like no you can pick the the biggest bodied character have the most health uh, put on roller skates and run around with an SMG you know what I mean you're not restricted to that light body so I was disappointed in that because it would have been really awesome to have a freaking Batman versus Joker TF2 basically but uh it's more reminding me of Brink honestly uh because as much as Brink copied from TF2 this game plays out a lot more like Brink and when people think Brink PC they go oh shit this game's going to suck ass but don't worry man this is like Brink 2.0 it's like a successful Brink not as much as a fail uh as much as I hate to bash on any game man it's it's a little inside joke here by a PC of how bad Brink was um but starting to get familiar with it because I'm starting to realize there's stuff that's familiar like perks from Call of Duty. There's perks directly from Call of Duty and there are freaking death streaks in this game. Holy crap. I thought no other game would make that mistake but I guess you gotta sometime. You gotta mix it up and keep it fair for everybody across the board. But it's not overly annoying except for a few things I saw that were kind of upsetting to me and I gotta call this out really quick. Um, I wanted to really get a kill with this ninja star thing. I was shooting at these guys. I was like, oh, I might get a chance right here. I, wow, 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 <laughs> got him. Got a kill with that thing, which, uh, that made my day and that made me want to post this gameplay after that. Uh, but that's when I started to realize, like, there's perks. There's perks to counter pretty much everything in this game. Like, you hate rockets, rock flak jacket, man. You're going to, you know, have reduced damage towards rockets. And there's other stuff like, you know that really, the most overpowered thing in the game, I think, is that gadget that makes you basically look through walls? There's a counter to that, which I enjoy using a lot, because you might be getting raped an entire game and not realize that there's a guy wall hacking you every time, and they know exactly where you are. And as much as I hate uh, not uh, being able to show up on whatever UAV or something, you know, staying off the radar the entire game... It's even more annoying when you walk around every corner and there's like three guys already aiming down sight pre-firing you. That thing is overpowered. I'm so glad that there's a proper counter to it that isn't overly annoying. You know what I mean? But uh, thanks for watching, guys. That was a quick-ass gameplay. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> but uh, ran out of gameplay there. I'm enjoying this game a lot, man. I recommend it really highly. Go pick it up if you haven't already, man. Get it done. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later, man. Tell me what you guys think about it. Peace.